Okay, so now we have a nerve's surface. Always helpful to know what type of geometry you're making. And if we type in the property properties command, properties enter, we will get a properties dialog box. And it's also um, from the main toolbar, we have that here. Okay, so let's select our last piece of geometry, which was a surface. We're going to click on that. I'm also going to change the color of that surface just to see that a little better. So you see the color swatches along the right. I'm going to click on the blue color swatch and I'm going to change the color of that. Okay. And with that selected, I'm going to click on this details button just to see what type of geometry we have. <clears throat> So it is a surface, and since we're going to be doing some 3D printing this semester, we want to always create geometry that's watertight. And we'll talk a little bit more about what that means. But right now, this is an open surface. And I'm looking for, I see open nerves curve here. Okay, we're going to be, in our geometry, we're going to be looking for closed surfaces. So let's talk a little bit more about that. The easiest way to look at that is to create in Rhino what Rhino calls a solid. And if you look in the main menu, you'll see solid and we can create a sphere. Uh, first of all, I'm going to make my solid layer current. I'm going to go to surface or solid rather sphere and just how to make it I'm going to choose center radius okay so that's what Rhino considers to be a solid and what does what a solid means is that it's watertight okay so we use a better example if we go to solid and we choose a cylinder okay so what you want to be aware of is this cylinder is not like uh, a cylindrical piece of wood. If you cut uh, a cylinder of wood in half, it's a solid object. It will have a cap on it. It's made of solid wood. Where in Rhino, solids are, in this case, the cylinder is much like a, a Folgers coffee can, where it's hollow on the inside, and we can we can take a look at that, but it is watertight. So if I select that solid cylinder, solid according to Rhino, and click on details, you see here closed solid polysurface with three surfaces. So hopefully that's something that we could export uh, for 3D printing because it's a closed solid polysurface. And what does polysurface mean? You also see that at the top of the screen. So a polysurface is more than one surface. So let's demonstrate that this cylinder is more of a coffee can than a solid object. So um, from the toolbars on the left, we have a function where we can split. So, and we also have an extract. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the top surface of this cylinder. So I'm going to type in extract, and I'm going to choose extract surface, and I'm going to pick that top surface. And that just separates it from the cylinder, and I'm going to hit the delete key. And there you go. Now you can see that it was not a solid object. It was uh, a coffee can. So that we couldn't 3D print because it's not watertight. Now let's keep going with the idea of exporting our geometry and let's look at this sphere. And to export this, 
to an STL. So an STL is a file type that's used for 3D printing. STL will convert this nerves geometry to a mesh. We want to control the settings for the mesh. And we can do that by using the mesh command in Rhino. Now, if I made the mesh layer current, it would still make it on the layer solid. Okay, so let's, I don't, I'm not worried about changing this mesh layer to be current. So I'm going to type in the command mesh, enter. And I'm going to select the sphere, enter. And I get polygon mesh options. Best thing to do is click on the preview so you can see how tight or loose that mesh is going to be. I can choose fewer polygons and click preview and I'll get fewer polygons which is less smooth of a sphere. And more polygons, much more smooth. So I'm going to leave that right in the middle, hit preview, and I'm going to click OK. So now you see my mesh geometry overlaid on my nerves geometry. I'm going to select the mesh object. And the nice thing about Rhino is when two objects occupy the same space and you click on them, Rhino gives you a selection menu. Which one do you want? In this case, I want the mesh. Select the mesh. I want to change that to my mesh layer, just keeping it organized. So here under layer solids, I change that to mesh. Okay. So let's check this for exporting to STL. And what we want to look at is, is this a good watertight mesh? So this is where I'm going to introduce us to a toolbar, a selection toolbar. So from the main toolbar, there's a select all button. If I click and hold in the lower right hand corner, it brings out the select toolbar. And what I like in here is an invert selection. So my mesh is selected and I invert my selection. It selects everything else. Actually, my mesh is not selected. Now I'm going to select the mesh, invert the selection, and I'm going to type in the command hide. And that hides everything. Now the other toolbar that I would like, if I go to Tools, Toolbar Layout, there's a toolbar called Geometry Fix. And what I'm looking for in there is a check mesh. Click on check mesh, check, click on the mesh, enter, and we have this is a good mesh. And one of the things that we find often in our geometry is we have a lot of naked edges. And naked edges um, are not good for 3D printing. But in this case, I don't have any problems. I don't have degenerate face faces. I don't have zero length edges and so on. So this is a good mesh. Okay. It's important that you select the geometry that you want to export. So you select the mesh, go up to the main menu, File, Export Selected. So it only exports the selected geometry to an STL. Under Save as Type, you look for STL, Stereo Lithography. Type in the name of the STL and click on save. You'll have two options for the STL export. You'll have binary and ASCII. We'll stick with binary which you can see is a much smaller file size and click OK. So you see at the top that STL file was exported. So we can save this Rhino file. So it remembers the last file type, so I need to change this back 
to .3dm, which is Rhino's file extension, .3dm. Can save this as my initials class one. I can open up that STL file just by going to File, Open, change my files of type to stereolithography, click on that file, and there you have the STL. So you can see, not as smooth as the nerve geometry. But in most cases, this looks pretty good for 3D printing. Again, I did have options to make this smoother when I converted this from a nerves, from nerves geometry to a mesh. Okay, so the STL file is what you would bring to the 3D printer.